Hey y'all, Craig here, Old Bay Crafts, and we are back for part three of the Old Spice strategy with bankroll management using table profit and bet profit. If you remember in part two, we won back our initial $706 new bankroll, or I'm sorry, initial bankroll. Um, so in part one, our initial bankroll was 500. We got that back and then we made 206 profit and our bankroll in part two was started with 706. So then we played, we won back. Um, our initial bankroll, which is now locked up, 706, out of sight, out of mind. We now have a new bankroll, which includes 160, excluding the pass line, 160 on the table. So that's our table profit. And we have 337 bet profit and our new goal is to go from 160 on the table to 640 so it's four times um four times goal so we're going to continue stick left two and we're going to start off with kissing aces threes on top dice out And we have a 3-1-4, so we hit the point. So puck comes off. We're going to win 15 on the pass line. We're going to win 50 on the odds. And we're going to use the winnings to pop the inside easies on the 5-6-8 only and the quarter in the field as part of our Old Spice um, come out roll. And we're gonna go ahead and put the quarter on the four and we're gonna press the five and nine to 30 each. So let's go ahead and we're doing our come out roll which is four, six, four, two. Dice out. We have a 5-3 easy 8. Mark the 8. Eight's going to become the point. We're going to lose the field. We're going to win on the 5-3 hop. That's 75, 80 and down. We're going to bring this 30 from the 8 behind as odds on the pass line. And we're going to take, we're going to press the 4 and the 10 and we'll press the six to 60. So right now we have, um, we have 75, 75, that's 150, 160. We have uh, uh, 220 and then 250 on the table, excluding the pass line. So we're trying to get on our way to 640 on the table. So we're going to go to the all seven set, five, three, two, four, dice out, and we have a five, six, yo, we're going to use table profit to do a $12 horn. set three six three five dice out and we have a three two five so we lose the horn the five's gonna as 30 on it, it's gonna pay 42 we're gonna mark the five we hit the small we're not playing the ATS though We're going to take the five up to 70 and we're going to use our dollar chips to put on the East use straight up. 
We're going to go with a 1, 2, 2, 1. Dice out. And we have a 6, 4, 10. Whoops. Sorry. Hit the chips. That was a 6, 4, 10. We lose the horn. 10 has 50 on it. Going to win 100. Going to take it off the 5. Uh, Going to get 3 change. It was a $2 big. And we're going to put 100 on the 10. Take the 4 up to 10. And here we go. Three, six, six, two. Dice now. And we have aces always in both places. So I'm going to do a, and we'll do a quarter in the field. And we'll do three dollars on the aces. Five, three, easy, eight. So we're going to lose three, but we hit the point. We're going to lose the field. Um, we're going to win on 15 on the pass line, 36 on the odds. So let's take a quick assessment of where we are. We're on the come out roll. All right, so our table profit is now 436, 436. So um, our table profit our table profit goal was to reach 640. So we are $204 away. So what we're going to do, is we're going to change for this, and we're going to do a quarter in the field, and we're going to do our five, six, eight easy hops for a nickel each. And we have 60 on the eight. Let's do 30 on the eight, 30 on the nine. So our bet profit right now is 201. We've increased our table profit a little bit and we're on the come out so the box numbers are off and we're going for the five, six, eight easy quarter in the field, Old Spice. And we're going back to the 4 6, 4 2 dice set. Dice out. And that's a come out 7. So it just takes away our old spice, but we do win on the pass line. So it took away uh, $40 of our. Old Spice. So we're going to come out again with $40 on the Old Spice. So 
So there's our quarter in the field. Gonna rack 50 there. Gonna grab a nickel from our winnings. And we'll, and this does reset the ATS. And here we go. Four, six, four, two. Dice out. And we have a hard eight. A hard eight, a hard way is the other, um, that was a hard eight. A hard eight is the other flaw in the Old Spice because we're not covering the hard six, hard four. So if we look at it, um, 10, 20, 30, that's 55 actions. So we've lost 110 of our bet profit just on the come out roll. But we do finally have a point. We're gonna bring the 30 down in odds. And mark the eight. And here we go. We're gonna go with the kissing aces again with threes on top. Dice out. And we have a four, five, nine. Mark the nine. It's gonna win 42. We're gonna go ahead and gonna take from our bet profit. We're gonna take the nine up to 100. And we're gonna take our odds bet on the eight to 60. Six three three five. Dice out. And we have a one three four. Mark the four. We're gonna win two hundred. Uh, we're gonna take five off the uh, odds to pay for the vig. And let's take another assessment. Remember, our table goal was to reach 640. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 75. Now we did lose some of the bet profit, but let's combine the bet profit with our table profit. And now our new bankroll is 878 is our new bankroll. So what do we do with it? Well, who wouldn't want to take back three? And now we just put a bar, we just put a banana chip in our pocket. Who doesn't love that? So we have now locked up $1,006 in our pocket, out of sight, and our new bankroll is 578. So again, Let's uh, let's see what we can do at 250, and we'll put 328 as our bet profit, and let's see what we can do with. Um, now, when you're at the casino, guys, and you're, if you're going to try this, you need to know what the bets are, and you need to do it a lot quicker than I'm doing it here, because there's still a point on the board, and they're not going to wait a long time for you to figure out what you want to do with bankroll management. Um, so I'm just still learning this myself, um, but let's see what we can do here.
All right, we're actually gonna borrow from the bet profit just so we can put the cap on the six. All right, so we have 50, 100, 150, 200, 230, 255 on the table. So what's our goal going to be? Let's do four times. So 255, four times is 1,020. We can even make it an even thousand. So $1,000 is what we wanna have on the table. That's our goal. Our bet profit to help us get there is 323 in bet profit. And we've locked up $1,006 in our pocket, out of sight, out of mind. So you ready? All right, we'll do it next time. Uh, wait for part four. I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, click subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. Today was part three. Part three, we locked up $1,006 in our pocket, out of sight, out of mind. We have 255 on the table currently with a goal of trying to do four times, which is going to get us to 1,020 on the table. And we have 323 in bet profit to help us out. I'll see you next time. And when you're at your tables, season your bets, guys. Thanks.